Western. Hello everybody, welcome back. This is 6mm Gallo. We're bringing you um, the video that I've been... that I'm just gonna get out of the way before I, people start asking. Uh, so this is gonna be what I run for my configurations for my uh, M4. So, the base M4 we have in front of us is an Ares Amoeba AM016. It has some, uh, has some things that are non-stock on it that we'll go over. So it's an AM016, so that's a 13.5 inch um, handguard, so it's about a 13.5 inch outer barrel, and it's a 13.5 inch inner barrel. The inner barrel goes right to the end of the outer barrel. So we're going to start from the back all the way to the front. So at the back of the gun we do have a uh, 7 position retractable stock. Um, I find that very convenient uh, if I'm running either a buffer tube extension or if uh, just the type of gameplay that I'm trying to do if I'm doing a CQB match or anything like that uh, is uh, led to having a, uh, sh a shorter stock rather than a longer one. I do usually run as longer stock um, out, out on, the, on a longer setting. Um, on the AM016, the battery, your battery compartment's back here in a buffer tube. Um, so you just unscrew this piece right here and your, uh, your Tamiya connection is on the inside. Um, it is a little tight to get batteries inside the, uh, the uh, AM016, but um, you get used to it after a while. Uh, on the buffer tube, you are able to also take off the top and you can put extensions on top of this, uh, which I do have a couple of. So That's uh, probably one of the only downsides of the, of the uh, Amoeba, but um, we'll go through the rest of the gun. If I can get this back in, there we go. All right, moving on, um, you have a, um, it's only on the left side is your fire selector. Um, it can be annoying for some people, but uh, for me being right-handed, it's perfectly fine. Um, moving on to the trigger, um, just like every other Amiibo trigger, the um, it's very, very responsive. It's almost like a, a mouse click. Uh, you'll hear it um, pretty much just like a mouse click. Like if you just tap on your mouse, that's what it's like to pull on the Amiibo trigger. Um, you're able to um, get some pretty good um, semi uh, bursts out of this thing uh, with that trigger. Uh, moving on, you have a uh, mag release, huge mag release button, which is wicked nice. Um, no need, no fumbling around for a little button that might be flush, huge, just right there, mag falls right out. Uh, moving forward even more. We have our uh, Octa Arms Tactical Keymon Hammer. Like I said, it's 13.5 inches. Um, this is the obviously the black version of the gun. Uh, this is not the stock flash hider. The stock flash hider is the um, uh, flash hider that looks like um, you would use to breach a door. Uh, you'd shove it in the door and pull the trigger and breach the door. Um, however, I didn't like that. It was too big. Uh, the fields I play at make you put barrel socks on. So to fit a barrel sock over something that big was kind of a pain in the ass. I do have a custom silencer made for the gun. I'll show footage of that uh, in the B-roll. Um, but yeah, there's a custom silencer made for the gun and everything like that. It's beautiful. Uh, my friend Mike turned it. Um, he is a team member on Team A0, the, both the teams that the team that we are on. Um, links in the description to our Instagram. All right, moving back on the gun. Um, on the tactical key mod rail, uh, we do have Ares Amoeba um, key mod uh, hand stops, and these things are super nice. Uh, all aluminum. Um, they they're very ergonomic. I have two, one up close to the uh, lower receiver, so you're able to get a better purchase on the weapon uh, when in a CQB. And a little farther out, if I'm trying to aim uh, a little bit further for a, a long range engagement. Um, Moving back even more up on the top of the rail, I have a normal sight protector here, um, just because you don't want your sight getting shot out. I mean, granted these things are only you know, 30, 40, where I mean, 40, 50 dollars, but uh, you still want to have to go out there and buy a new T1 when you can go out and other stuff for the sport. So 
Moving on to my T1, it is a West Lake um, T1 red dot, red and green dot site. It's on a riser, um, like any other soft gun, you should probably have your stuff on a riser. And uh, just so you, your, your cheeks never really flush on these things. Uh, I did take the iron sights off. Um, I'll show you what the iron sights look like in some footage and on my other upper. Um, you do have a charging handle. Uh, it does not, it's fully aluminum. It does not um, stay back though, it does not hold back. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the AM016. And what, what has happened to me, uh, what happened to me recently, was I was offered to buy a uh, AM013, the not the Honey Badger. And uh, I, I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Like, I'll take up the offer of getting a, um, a new gun. And then uh, since it's made by the same manufacturer, I'm able to um, just take this upper, or take the upper off the AM016, and I'll just be able to slide on the upper of the AM013. Um, doing this allows me to change my barrel length and my um, outer barrel length with the uh, handguard and everything. So it's a little more CQB oriented now. Um, I did get the lower to the AM013. However, I uh, just recently made the decision to go ahead and HPA that lower. So what my uh, main uh, look on the field is going to be is I'm going to be hopefully running HPA mainly, but I am going to be keeping this AM016 lower completely AEG. I'm not going to be touching anything in this. Uh, God forbid something with the uh, with the HPA lower gets uh, something happens with that during a game, or if um, uh, just the field runs out of air or anything like that. Um, I'll be able to switch this over to an AEG. Wicked click, quick, just slide the top off. And slide the upper off and throw it on the other lower. Um, so on this, this is a, I believe it's a 10 inch rail system. So I think it's about an 11 inch overall length. Um, it's not too much smaller than this, but it's noticeably smaller and it's a lot easier on the field when playing indoors or CQB. Um, these are the stock sights that come with a Amoeba, Ares Amoeba. Uh, they're plastic. They're all right. Um, I have some footage of them. But uh, if you're gonna use sights, I definitely recommend go buy some uh, Magpul and buses. Here is my backup T1. I'm usually I'll, I'll always use this T1, but I'll uh, swap it out for this one uh, when I swap uppers. Uh, I just put I just mount it on here just so I don't lose it. Uh, obviously, I'll use the riser off this guy. But um, yeah, that's my other T1. It's Evic uh, T1. So nothing too special. You know, it was kind of a budget. It was the first one I got. That's that. On this, these are the stock uh, Aries um, hand guards. Uh, these were Aries' first um, iteration of the ones that I have on the key mod. Uh, these are a lot fatter. The key mod ones are a lot slimmer. I do like the key mod ones better just because they are slimmer. Um, and then moving back, once again, charging handle. And on this one, as you guys can see, we have a Pro and hop up. Uh, this is still the stock pop up in the AM016. I'm looking in the C, seeing if I could get a pro in to fit in there, because this pro in does not fit in there, or if uh, what other hop ups do fit in there. However, the stock hop up is, is great. It, it does its job. Um, I've never had an issue with it. I would say the AM016 is still more accurate than the AM013, but we could just equate that to the longer barrel in. Anyway, uh, they both come with their stock Ares Amoeba high cap magazine, which I'll have footage of, obviously. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my play style. So these are both polymer body guns, except the handrails are both metal. I do like that. Uh, it equates to a lighter loadout. You know, I, I don't want to get exhausted out there all day playing um, airsoft just because my guns are made of uh, metal. I have had full metal body guns, but just not, not what I like. So anyway, guys, once again, this is 6mm Gala with the AM016 upper, AM013, AM016 lower, and I'm going to be having my HP setup coming in soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you check us out on Instagram at TeamA0, and uh, there'll be a lot of good stuff going on there. Have a good day, guys.